Hi parents, I just wanted to do this video as we're coming up to Easter for families. And I actually want to talk about you as a family and how important family is. When we think about God's plan of sending Jesus at Easter to come and die for our sins, etc. What was the plan behind that plan? It was actually families. You know, if we think about the God in the Bible talks about being our father. Our father, and that's speaking about families, how important it is that he has a relationship with you and me. And so at this time, more than ever before, families are so important. Jesus comes as the Son of God to die for us during Easter as our Passover lamb so that we can be adopted into God's family as sons and daughters, having that relationship with him. And so as you're spending time over this Easter with your family, reflecting of the meaning of Easter, of Christ's coming, I want to remind you of how significant it was during the Passover feast. It was the head of the household. It was the father or that fathering figure who would go and take the lamb, slay the lamb, and that head of the house would apply the blood of the lamb over the doorpost of the house. And so how significant is the role that we have as parents at this time to lead our families? God has created us, male and female, with roles to be those parents. God has a plan for the family unit. It's this wonderful place. If I think about the different philosophies around the world, there's Greek Platoism that separates sacred and secular. And it says this is important, this isn't. This is sacred, this isn't. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Hebraic worldview talks about five arenas. God wants to reveal himself in these five places, in our marriages, in our families, in our workplace, in the community, and in the world. It is a holistic plan. It is a worldview where God, right from the beginning of time, has this relationship with him to us as Christ the groom, we are the bride of Christ. There's this picture of a marriage, this pure picture of his relationship with us. And so in your marriage, in your family, in your home, a husband and wife, God wants to reveal himself in that arena. And then as parents, as we relate to our children, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, God wants to reveal himself in that arena, in our family. And how important is, is that in this time as we're home, spending more time together as a family, relating father to daughter, father to son, mother to children, the children, brothers to sisters together, how important that is. And God then talks about our workplace. He wants to reveal himself. Whatever we do in word or deed, we do it unto the Lord. He wants to reveal himself in our workplace with our attitude, with our focus, with our discipline. And then in our community, how we are to let our light shine so that all men will know that we are his disciples. And so how do we serve our community at this time? And so God reveals himself through his people into the community and then, of course, the world. And so as we come through this Easter period, as we're spending time with family, I want to honour you as parents in the role that you have as husband and wife, as fathers, as mothers, the significant role you have in your family and the children, the sons and the daughters. How do we relate together? And I want you to know that we're praying for you. We're praying God's blessing upon you as families. We pray that the true meaning of Easter will be something you'll reflect upon and go, Jesus came as the Son of God because God loved the world to die on the cross so that you and I could be adopted back into his family. That was his original plan. And so God has a plan beyond the plan and that's what Easter is all about. And so God bless you. We're praying for you. Uh, we're looking forward to continue to support you. And God bless you.